Hi, I'm Daniel Shepherd, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to solve the uh, centres of a 4x4 blindfolded um, using the method of commutators. And to be able to understand this, you, sh um, you don't have to already know about commutators, um, but you'll find it a lot easier if you already do. Um, and obviously to be able to put this into practice you have to understand the basic concept of blindfold solving um, and buffer pieces and cycles and things like that. Otherwise, you're not going to um, know why on earth I'm telling you all these things that are. So, enjoy. Okay, so um, we're going to be solving these uh, 4x4 centers using commutators. And uh, when I say commutator, I mean an algorithm of the form A, B, A inverse, B inverse. Um, where A and B are a sequence of one or more moves. And the commutators we're going to be using are going to switch uh, just three centerpieces. So um, you can solve this case here where there's just three to move. Um, now the first thing to look for is two pieces which are interchangeable. And uh, what I mean by interchangeable is that uh, one can one centerpiece will move to the other's location um, in one move. So, for example, for this one, these two pieces here are interchangeable because using the D slice we can move one to the other one's location. So, like this. So, this piece goes to where that one was. And the same the other way, that one will obviously go to where that one was if you move it the other way. And once you found that, um, you have to think you now which one belongs where. So in this case, it's the red piece which belongs over where the yellow one is, and not the other way around. So now that we know that, we're going to call this one, this spot here, the action spot, um, because this is where um, all the um, stuff is going to take place. So the first move in your algorithm is going to be to insert the third piece into the action spot. And you have to do that in a way whereby the uh, nothing else in the um, interchange slice, which is the D slice here, um, in a D slice. So you don't want anything else in that to change apart from the um, piece that's in the action spot. So for this, it's quite simple. You just move the um, action spot up to here, swivel the top layer around, and put it back down. So you do slice up to there, and then U2, and slice it back down. So now we have the third piece in the action spot here, and we do our interchange move next. So that was um, the A in our commutator. So our interchange move is going to be the B, and that's just to move this piece over to the action spot. That's our one interchange move. And then you just do A inverse, which in this case is just A, move it up, you two, move it back down. And then lastly, B inverse, which is our interchange move back around to there. And as you can see, it is now solved. So um, you've seen the basic case. Um, there's obviously a few other situations you can come across, and I'll take you through those now. So um, here's a very slightly different case. Um, now, the first thing we looked for before was to interchange all pieces. And in this case, we don't have to interchange all pieces. Um, so all we do is do setup moves. Um, so we just do a setup move to create and then two interchange all pieces, and then we'll undo the setup move at the end. So for this one, I'm just going to move this one to here, and then these two will be interchangeable like before. So I do R. And then now we notice that this one needs to go over to there, so we have the action spot here. And we insert the third piece into the action spot. So very similar to before. Do the slice up. This time it's just a U prime. Slice it back down. Do the interchange move. Undo. Um, do A inverse. So R U R prime undo the interchange move 
and lastly undo the setup move and we're done so now we have another situation where we have two interchangeable pieces um, but this time it's not so easy to insert the third piece into here because when we try and move the R slice this um, third piece also moves so I'm going to introduce you to backwards commutators um, and all we do for this is instead of A, B, A inverse, B inverse we just do um, B first and then A and then B inverse, A inverse so it's kind of like uh, this was the action spot before but we're going to use the action spot here um, by just doing the interchange move first so if we interchange first over to here we can then use this um, as the place to insert the third piece which is much easier by doing this then you undo the interchange move undo the insertion of the third piece and you're done. Uh, just remember not to do the interchange move again right at the end um, otherwise you'll have made a mistake. So I think I've covered all the cases uh, for when the three pieces are on adjacent faces to each other like these three um, but there's obviously another case where two of the centers are opposite each other like this one here. Um, now for this one um, to make things simple, we have to uh, restrict ourselves a bit in what we do. I always um, make the two opposite center pieces um, the interchange pieces. Um, otherwise, things get really complicated with inserting the third piece into the action spot. So I want to make this piece and this one here interchangeable. Um, you also want to interchange them along the around the plane um, that doesn't. Uh, go through uh, this third face here. So you don't want to interchange it over the top like this, you want to instead go around. So if I was to do this setup move, just an F, then I have this one and this one here interchangeable by doing uh, inner, inner U2 and also as this one is the one that needs to go to there, it's, this is going to be the action spot. So I insert this piece into there as before, like that, and then do the interchange move, which is the inner U2, then undo the insertion like we did before, undo the interchange, and lastly undo the setup move. And that's how I deal with the um, cases where there's stickers on opposite faces to each other. Now I've got uh, one last case for you here um, and this uh, case might come up when you're either breaking into a new cycle um, or just when you have only two pieces left in your memo to switch over. Now uh, when you're breaking into a new cycle you might find that you want to cycle this piece here to this piece here to say this piece here and in reality this is what it looks like, it just looks like a two piece swap um, but what you're going to do is cycle the three pieces and of course because two of them are yellow um, it doesn't it, uh, might confuse you a bit but it in effect does a two center swap um, even though that's impossible so what we do for this is we're going to just set up to a three adjacent center type commutator um, so this piece was the third piece we wanted to cycle. So if I do an inner F slice and I bring it to here, um, then that leaves us with this one to there, that one to there, and that one back to there. Um, so now we can just proceed as before with the commutator. Um, as this one wants to go to there, this could be the action spot, but it's not easy to insert this piece, so we're going to do a backwards commutator do the interchange first and then insert into this spot here undo interchange move and then undo the um, insertion 
And lastly, we undo the setup move. As you saw, it uh, solved because um, there were some cancellations um, with the setup move. Um, but uh, if you just ignore that, because you'll be blind, you're probably not going to realize that it's going to do that. So um, don't worry about that too much. Just think about what you're doing and do all the moves. So um, as I said before, um, this can happen when you're breaking into a new cycle and you have the three pieces to cycle, two of which are in the same center. Um, or it can happen when you just have two pieces left at the end. Um, so obviously exactly the same moves as before works, um, but you have a choice. Because before we had this as our third piece here, as well as the two unsolved ones, but now you can um, use um, either of these two as well if you really want. Um, so yeah, you just generally have a lot of choice of how to solve that one. Um, so anything like that will work. Um, and that's all the situations that you can come across and how to deal with them. So I'll finish the video by doing an example solve of the centers. Um, so yeah. So here is an example solve of the centers of a 4x4 using commutators. Um, I first buff a piece of this one, but it's solved, so we're just going to go into this one. So I'm going to cycle this to here, onto uh, the bottom face to here. So I want to set up this one and this one to be interchangeable because they're on opposite centers. So I do that. And then I can. Um, Proceed um, like so. And I solve this one and that one. So the second commutator is going to be here to here to here. Um, I already have interchangeable uh, some interchangeable pieces here, but um, the first thing I actually saw was. Uh, to do the setup move here to make these interchangeable and insert this one into here. Um, like so. So this one goes to there and that one um, breaks into the new cycle into there. So I'm going to do this, to this, to that. that and then this here to there so make these two interchangeable again insert the third piece into here and do the setup to finish and now onto this buffer piece which goes to there goes to there it's a nice easy one use this as the action spot and change And then here, to there, to there. Again, these two faces are going to be the uh, interchange ones. Um, so I set up like that. And I have this to that to there. Um, use the bottom face as the action spot. And solve like that. And here, to here, to there. I'm just going to set up to make these two interchangeable. That one's going there, so I insert into here. And do the setup move. And lastly, this piece to that piece to that piece. So I'm going to make these two interchangeable like that. Um, so this one is going to uh, be the extra spot. Um, sorry, my battery ran out just at the wrong moment there um, on that last commutator, so I'll just show you it again. It was this to here to here. Um, I set up like that to make these two interchangeable. Insert here. And finish the commutator like that. Undo the setup move and you've solved all the centers and you haven't moved any edges or corners around as you can see, which is perfect for blindfold solving. Um, so that's an example solve. Sorry if it was a bit fast or not very well explained. Um, 
There's a link to um, a video of me speed solving uh, one with a, and there's a reconstruction of all my moves in the description below it. Um, if you want to click on that um, and take yourself through one, maybe. Um, yeah, thanks very much for uh, watching. Please uh, do comment and ask me any questions and queries if you have them. Um, yeah, and that's about it for four blind centers. Thanks.